Nityanandam, welcome to my YouTube channel, Your Presence Views. My name is Mani Dedugananda. In this video, I would like to invite all of you to join me in this yoga challenge called Stay Alive, Stay Safe Yoga Challenge 2021. As you all know that this month, in the month of June, we celebrated the International Yoga Day, which happened about four days ago on the 21st of June. Yoga is a gift from Hinduism. From the Adi Yogi Paramashiva Sarashiva, who happened at least 60,000 years ago, he gifted the science of Shastanga Yoga. Of course, later on, Patanjali, he compiled all the yogic scriptures into the Yoga Sutra of Patanjali, the scriptures. But Paramashiva, he is the father of yoga. He's the source where yoga happened. Now, the next thing, you, as you know that, during this period of pandemic, the best thing that we can do is to strengthen our body, our immunity system, our lungs, to sail through this whole period of pandemic of the different coronaviruses. As you all know that a few days ago, the reports or the variants of the coronavirus has already been reported. See, the rate of the mutation of the coronavirus is happening quicker than the humani humanity's ability to develop vaccination. So, you may think that vaccination is a temporary solution, but if more and more variant of the coronavirus is happening, mutated, the best way, the long-term solution is to strengthen your body and your immunity system to ward off all kinds of viruses. That to me as a living yogi, the most practical solution to protect ourselves from this pandemic. See, I, I've been practicing yoga for the last 21 years now. I must say that yoga has been a life-saving gift from my teachers, my guru. Yoga has not only helped me to develop a yogi body, a powerful inner space, also it has helped me to experience a high dimension of life, of existence. So yoga is a tremendous gift to humanity. Let us embrace, let us live a yogic lifestyle. So with that, I would like to share with you this yoga challenge, which my team has put together. See, last video about two weeks ago, I hosted a powerful revelation from Devi Parashakti, a meditation technique using the Pranayama Trineta Kumbhaka. See, Trineta Kumbhaka has been reviewed by Swamiji many, many years ago as part of the Nitya Kriyas. It is from the Kumbhaka Padati. And last month in the month of May, Devi Parakshati, in her Akashic reading, revealed that when we practice this Trinata Kumbhaka alongside with that feeling connection with Paramashiva, the source, as well as especially those who are initiated devotees of Swamiji, His Divine Holiness Bhagavan Nityanan Paramashiva, we have been gifted an Atma Linga. Holding the Atma Linga, we are able to connect with the source and be blessed with the protection as well as infused with a lot of prana shakti in the body-mind system. So, my team has decided that we will put together a challenge during this month of International Yoga Day as we're celebrating this whole gift of yoga. 
we decided that we will take up a challenge. We will share with the world this challenge as part of our, you know, encouragement for more and more people to join this challenge. See, instead of just sitting, you know, feeling fearful of this pandemic, this whole mutation of the coronavirus and more, more lives are being sacrificed, more and more deaths are being reported. Rather than sitting in that passive, depressed state, we can do something, which is to take the responsibility to protect ourselves and strengthen our immunity during this period of pandemic. With that in mind, our team developed this whole Stay Alive, Stay Safe Yoga Challenge. So I'm going to share with you, many of us started this challenge on the 10th of June, about 16 days ago. And what has been our experiences as well as why we started this challenge? So with that, just allow me to share the screen of this. So as you can see, this is the campaign, social media campaign that we started under the umbrella of Kailasa Singapore. It is called Stay Alive, Stay, Stay Yoga Challenge. And we'd really welcome everyone to this amazing yoga challenge as you're going to see how many of us have experienced enormous healing, transformation, and possibility. So here are the objectives of the yoga challenge. One, to inspire more people to stay, to start a daily spiritual routine of yoga and pranayama, to strengthen their body-mind system, especially very, very important during this period of pandemic. Second is to protect yourself from the corona virus and other viruses that are coming in the future. In fact, Devi Parashakti revealed that in this month of September, in three months time, the third wave of the coronavirus is going to happen. So before that is going to come, let's do something for ourselves and for the entire humanity, which is strengthen your body and immunity system. In fact, his Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashivam, Swamiji, he said that in the Akashic reading, he said that one of the things that happened to humanity is that our immunity system has been weakened so much by the unconscious lifestyle. So much so that viruses are able to attack us easily. So if you know the source of the problem, which is a weakened immunity system due to unconscious lifestyle, then the solution, long-term solution is to get back to a spiritual routine to strengthen our humanity and our body. So this is the group, the private group, which we develop. Once you take up the challenge, you will be requested to join a private group where you will basically share your daily report of your yoga challenge. So here are some examples of the posts of the members who had already been doing this yoga challenge for the last 16 days. Here, Mashankari, she, you can see for day one and day 16 how the difference on her face, more easiness, glow and bliss radiating from her being in her physical body. And we also have um, Ma Vikandeshara. She's just recently started on day three of this whole yoga challenge for the next 21 days. In fact, she's also reporting intense yoga, you know, experiences and feeling connection with the whole. And Ma Govina Rupini, how yoga helped her to align herself back to uh, spiritual routine as well as how it strengthened the body mind system and giving her deeper understanding and experiences of yoga in her body. Now we have Manitya Brahmanyana. This is her 10th day. In fact, she just came out of a cataract operation 
a few months back and now she's on the path of recovery. So she, when she took up the challenge, she started slowly and she's seeing how her body is getting strengthened every day and she's able to do more each day with this yoga challenge. One thing beautiful about this challenge, you can start where you are now and progress as you go along. Ma Jarashatika, how this challenge and help her to align to certain discipline, yoga discipline, as well as health, health has improved so much with all the pains and it being disappeared as she started this whole yoga challenge. Ma Kevala and how she was able to heal her body during this period of pandemic. I mean, as she took out this whole yoga challenge. As for myself, as you can see, some of the pictures of my daily report, I can say that this yoga challenge has made me push the boundary to my next level of possibility. In fact, many of the sacred secrets of yoga are starting to come alive as I do my daily yoga practice. Every day, I get inspired, new, new possibility, new ideas, new revelation open up in me. In fact, one of the manifestation is the materialization of sandalwood powder on my yoga mat as a symbol of that oneness with the source. This yoga challenge has brought me also closer with my timidity when we do the yoga practice together. Um, occasionally when we come together to do certain process or certain practice together. And that has helped all of us to experience the different dimension of yoga. So how do we go about joining this Stay Alive, Stay Safe Yoga Challenge? Basically, first you need to fill up the registration form, which is reflected in this whole slide. And then you also join a private Facebook group, which is so called Stay Alive Yoga 2021. So during this 21 day, you do the daily practice of Nityana Yoga, as well as Renata Kumbhaka as a complete yoga practice daily. And you start, you can start with 21 rounds of Renata Kumbhaka at the end of your yoga practice. And it slowly increase to 108 rounds. See, Swamiji revealed that when you reach 108 rounds, your whole prana sharira gets completely infused by the Kundalini Shakti. So that is the experience I personally had just, you know, a few days ago. It was an amazing experience. Then take a picture of your practice, share with in this private group as well as your personal Facebook page. Add the hashtag, stay alive, stay safe, as well as Nityana Yoga and Trinata Kumbhaka. These are the three hashtags you can add. So, understand, when you're doing this yoga, Swamiji say that on the International Yoga Day, he revealed that not only that you're benefiting from the yoga practice, in fact, you're helping many, many people on planet Earth to be able to consciously sail through this pralaya, this pandemic, you understand that at a deeper level, at a conscious level, collective consciousness level, we're all interconnected. And this pandemic not only attack our physical body, it also attack our chronic body, our breathing system, as well as our mental body, which is the thoughts. Whatever thoughts that you carry, impacts our immunity system. If you carry a lot of depressive, fearful thoughts, surely it's going to create stress disturbance in the body system, creating a weakening of your immunity system. So when you do your daily yoga, be very clear, you're contributing to the collective consciousness, into a powerfulness, into strengthening that, you know, collective consciousness. That's why Swamiji say that when you're doing yoga yourself during this period of pandemic, you are also helping many, many beings to consciously sail through this whole pandemic 
this difficult time. So his message was very clear. Swamiji said that during this period, do yoga daily, stay alive, do multi-layered quarantine, protect yourself so that you can sail through this whole entire difficult time of Pralaya pandemic. With that, I would like to conclude this video. I really thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a note a question at the chat group. I'll be more than happy to reply. So with that, I'd like to conclude. Thank you. Nithyanandam.